Hunwick's Egg by Mem Fox Illustrated by Pamela Lofts Once upon a time, at the edge of a wide and dusty desert, there lived an old Bilby. His name was Hunwick. One morning, Hunwick sat up and sniffed the wind. A storm was on its way, and when it broke, what a storm it was. The world was tossed inside out and upside down. In the evening, when the skies had cleared, there lay, close to Hunwick's burrow, a most curious egg. You look lost, Hunwick said. Hunwick called on his neighbours. Whose egg might this be? He asked. None of them knew. I have never seen an egg so beautiful, said Emu. It must come from far away, said Echidna. It needs a home, said Cockatoo. Then I will give it one, said Hunwick, and he took the egg back to his burrow and bustled about making things cosy. You'll be safe with me, Hunwick said. His heart felt light, he was already fond of the egg, and wondered what would happen when it hatched. Neither did it hatch. One night, when the stars were coming out in twos and threes, Hunwick was brave enough to speak his mind. I'm glad I found you, he said, not looking at the egg directly. The egg made no reply. Neither did it hatch. Hunwick and the egg often sat side by side in the moonlight. Hunwick would tell stories from his past, exaggerating here and there from time to time. He also shared his troubles. The egg listened in respectful silence, but did not say a word. Neither did it hatch. At bedtime, Hunwick would hold the egg close. We're together, you and I, he'd say, and this is our home. The egg was a good friend to Hunwick. It listened well, and it was always there. But Hunwick's neighbours watched, and worried, and wondered. That egg, said Emu, will it ever hatch? Not now, said Echidna. Not ever, said Cockatoo. Poor Hunwick, Hunwick, they said together. But Hunwick wasn't sad. He had guessed long before that the egg was not an egg at all, but a stone of perfect shape, and size, and colour. I don't mind. He said to himself, I love it as it is. And he continued to love it with all his heart. It was his egg. It was his secret. And it remained his friend forever. <laughs>